Welcome to Art Beyond Museums. Today is a special episode. I'm very honoured to have with me His Royal Highness Prince Iswat Tesso of Cambodia with me today. Thank you Prince for joining me. Thank you Mr Ken. We know that uh, Prince Tesso is a great friend and actually very significant in Master Yun's Feng Shui art journey because we know that Master Yun's first public art exhibition is in, was in 2017 April. Sure, it's right. right. That's right. And yeah. Prince, you were the guest of honor that yes, day. Yes, it was my first uh, visit here, and he uh, welcomed me uh, right. at this uh, first exhibition, and I was very happy to attend this first exhibition. Yes. Right. How did you become the guest of honor of that exhibition well, in Ion? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, visit the gallery first, and right. then Master Yun invited me to to see his first uh, exhibition. And uh, I was very happy to to be the guest of honor of his first exhibition here in Singapore, and to meet all these friends and his friends and the uh, what his the first painting he he exhibited. Yes, it was the first one public. Uh, so thereafter, we know that there were a lot of exhibitions going on <laughs> all around the world. But uh, and uh, if we talk about it, it's been about like five years, five plus five six years. Yes, almost. Oh my I God, time passed so fast. Passed so fast. Yeah. Do you, do you, what was your greatest impression of the first art exhibition, of the one in Ion? I think that it was the first uh, exhibition that presented that kind of art I've okay. never seen before, and I think that. Most of the public were very uh, um, curious to yes. know what uh, what is this Finnish arts in the painting, in the way the master paint, and the way he present and express the feng shui through the time through the painting. Yes, was I think a bit. Uh, un unusual. Unusual, for, right? For, for most of all of us. Was it the first time that you saw the lights went off and the UV effect came on? Oh yes, it, it was, was yeah. oh, amazing. <laughs> Were yeah. you? Did anyone tell you that that was going to happen? We all felt oh, yeah. what is? Uh, <laughs> we all were all surprised about this. Session. Very surprised. Yeah, I yeah. remember there was a footage back then. It was still like when the lights went off. Maybe some people knew that there might be this kind of effect. But really, when you are there, and when the lights go off, and when you are surrounded by a different landscape of paintings all together, yeah, yeah. the wow just comes yeah. naturally. Yeah. I think till today, there is still this kind of effect yes. when we go to Master Yun's physical uh, art exhibitions. Absolutely, and not even the the effect. It was also all the atmosphere that uh, was created around this exhibition. Uh, the the music. The music that was played uh, make a very uh, um, uh, what a kind uh, uh, an, an atmosphere very uh, peaceful, very magical somewhere at some point. Uh, I like the word <laughs> magical. As, if, if you go to Martin's art exhibition, uh, he has always proclaimed that uh, it's going to be a different kind of art exhibition, and probably stepping into a new magical land uh, might be a good way to describe it. And we know that after uh, the Ion Art Exhibition, uh, Master Yun's exhibition went all around the world. Sure, and Princess sure, Sure. you were there at nearly every stop. Yes, we went to Amsterdam, Amsterdam, we to Barcelona. Barcelona, <laughs> both in 2019. Yes. And uh, Bangkok in 2018. Yeah, right, uh, Princess yeah, Papa Devi was yeah, there as well. Yeah, yes. And uh, after this first exhibition, we were talking with Master. I said, "Oh, Master, you should do that." When he was talking, we were talking together that uh, could we bring this kind of uh, exhibition abroad. Yes. I said, "Oh, it's a fantastic idea, and uh, I will be very happy with." Princess Bopa Devi also, yes. Her Royal Highness, to attend the first exhibition in Bangkok. Yes, that was the one that uh, yes, the, big, the whole big family, one. whole royal family was there. Yeah. Huge one. And uh, at that time, I remember well that Master Master Yun not only exhibit, he do himself. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know what he has done oh, with the, his. Uh, the, uh, he whipped the gold off the painting because we knew that uh, Master Yun uses real gold and silver on the painting. And um, it's part of like a performance art thing, you know, the gold and silver are adhered onto the painting. But he has to whip it off 
and reviewed the painting. And the first time, Prince, you saw it was in Bangkok, right? Yes. And subsequently, I think you saw it in Amsterdam. Uh, in, sorry, in Holland. In and also in uh, Spain as well. Spain, yeah. So yeah. when you first saw it in Bangkok, yeah. What was your feel? Oh, it was uh, so so impressive for us to, to, to see the way Master express his art because it's not only uh, uh, presenting things, it's right. active things. Yes. You know, he, he show, he's so... Even we are sitting, but doing, who is uh, seeing Master Yun doing that, it's like he wants us to to be part of his creation, yes. you know, we assist, but we he, he prison, he give life to his to his painting through right. that um, and, uh, you know and, traditional yes. way he he do we, it's because we don't we don't have the, the occasion to see that. And because you you have been the GOH guest of honor, Bangkok, Netherlands, Spain, you were sitting in the front row. So when that thing happened, when Martin was whipping the goal of the painting. Oh my, I will never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget First, I suppose the sound is there. <laughs> the sound is there. And second, while he, when he was do, doing that, he was creating his painting. Yes. The peacocks and the cranes yes. and the calligraphies revealed themselves. Yes. But yes. also the goal, you yeah. were the closest yeah, to it. Yeah, the closest. And so it before upon you. And, and all the the leaf of the gold goals come all off on, on us and <laughs> we keep a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, in Bangkok, uh, you, Prince Tessu, you, uh, uh, Prince Shivan was there. Well, I think Prince Shivan was sitting quite close to the corner. And when uh, His Royal Highness walked out, it was just like he had a new golden <laughs> shirt or <laughs> armor or something. Absolutely. It yeah. was really something. So it was, uh, I think that I have been some some exhibition painting exhibition, but have never been uh, like uh, the artists uh, invite us to to share his art like this, you know, yes. by by um, acting, yes, doing a uh, finishing his he he finish his uh, arts in front of us, you know. Yes, uh, it's not only something totally finished. Yeah, uh, oh, he that's finished right. yeah. it in that's front of us. Yeah, so he. Take the he make the the, the last touch yes. and the last touch is was gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, very yeah, prosperous. It was very good souvenir, and uh, I, I think that most of people when they see that uh, they appreciate that. Yes, the, I mean in Asia, I think it was they definitely uh, found that amazing. But when we went to Europe, in Spain, in the Netherlands, quite... I think they have never seen <laughs> something like that before. Absolutely. And uh, if Prince, you remember. I think uh, when we brought the art to the Netherlands and uh, Barcelona, uh, actually the crowd also went quite a bit crazy as well. Mm -hmm. Especially when the goal and thing and everything was happening. Right? Especially for <laughs> European personality. <Yeah. laughs> there is somehow actually How a gold. <laughs> <laughs> so much gold happening and uh, all the of course Prince, you see, in the two occasions in Europe, you also brought uh, the Apsara troop over yes. as well. Yes. And they yes. appreciate it so yes. much. They have never seen it yes. before. Yes. They admire so much. So while the world sometimes it seems divided, mm. but actually, you know, through these arts, uh, the Cambodian Royal Arts, the ballet, mm. and also Master Yun's Feng Shui art, there is actually a underlying common or universal theme that can connect yes, yes, with so absolutely. many people. Absolutely, that's why uh, I'm very uh, uh, grateful to Master to to request uh, the dance royal ballet performance right. part of his event because uh, it's uh, it's a traditional very ancient like feng shui it's uh, it's uh, centuries uh, we cannot say when it starts so it's a very old human uh, arts yes. human uh, way of life right. and traditions uh, and also in Cambodia, we have the Royal Ballet that is registered at the UNESCO as a heritage, yes. a universal heritage. So it doesn't belong only in Cambodian. Yes. It be, uh, Royal Ballet of Cambodia belongs to all, uh, every uh, people, you know, so it belongs to all, all, right. all people. So uh, Master has this idea to, um, to, to present his art, but not only his art. Right. He wants to share that there is all the arts also and, uh, and traditional uh, classical ballet with feng shui painting is fitting well. Right, stunning. Uh, 
for instance, you you know mastering for a long time, sure. and, uh, and, and you're you're great friends with mastering, sure. and mastering is also a great friend with the Cambodian royal family. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe mastering as a person as a friend? Well, uh, I think that uh, he was very close to Her Royal Highness Princess Bupadevi because uh, when Princess Bupadevi uh, visited him here in Singapore the, for the first time, uh, I think that uh, there was automatically a, a, a good connection between them together. Right. Yeah. I know my princess. Yes. She's really uh, <laughs> before she gave her her her, her what can I say uh, love or friendship to someone Princess Bupadevi is uh, has to know well the person and it makes long time I know the princess and uh, the ch her children can can confirm that yeah, okay, that's <laughs> because yes. I used to serve princess for years. Yes. So and and with Master Yun it was automatically right. And in, at the first meeting. And then right is uh, uh, the late princess. She does not really speak English. Yeah. No Chinese. No French no, and Khmer. Yeah. So does she does French and Khmer and Master Yun actually does English or Chinese. Yes. So there was. Not that much of a connection in terms of language. Not Am necessary. I right? Yeah, yeah, but it was not necessary. It was not for necessary. Them to communicate by by language. They communicate uh, very easily by the way they look together and right. they understand each other very uh, simply. Yeah. There was. A... He knows. I think that master can uh, see how his princess her character without talking a lot much much and princess also knows the character of master you right uh, yeah she can exactly that's really something now i also know that uh princess so you actually of uh there, there, ever since the ion exhibition there have been many many collectors of mastering's arts uh and you are also one, one of them, of them yeah. so where is this uh piece of feng shui painting now well you know uh sincerely before knowing master yun uh, I have to confess, I have no idea about what feng shui is, right. sincerely. But uh, I think that uh, feng shui, if it takes uh, so long tradition for centuries, yes. until now, it must be a reason, sincerely. Right. Yeah. We don't know why, we mm -hmm. cannot explain everything, mm -hmm. but if people still uh, believe on Feng Shui, I, I guess that we don't, cannot uh, explain probably mathi mathematically, yes. but I think that something is, is, exists behind right. Behind Feng Shui. I don't know what is the word, right word to, to express that, but it's, it is my feeling. And now that I know Master Yun and that I collect many of his uh, Feng Shui arts, uh, it, it's, I feel that in my life he, something has changed. Right. 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 I, I will look forward to more happenings. And now that the borders are open, pretty much, and the, 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 the pandemic is over. Uh, Prince, what do you envision uh, for, for you and Master Yun? You know, uh, and it's since three years I've right. never yeah. been here because three of years, the, yeah. yeah, more than three weeks. Uh, I didn't meet Master Yun and didn't have the opportunity to come to Singapore, but uh, thanks to the well-known management of the Singaporean government and the Cambodian government that they were very well managed. The, the COVID now, the frontier is open. Yes. Um, most of people are vaccinated and uh, it makes people uh, think that they can go back to a normal life. Right. Yes, that's why I said, okay, my first trip 
outside Cambodia will be Singapore and Master Yun since three years. So I'm very happy to, to be here tonight, uh, today, and um, yeah, um, I'm very happy to, to see that since these three years, many hard things happened also uh, yeah. for, for uh, the, the, the last, gallery. Well, the last stop that we had was in Spain. Yeah. It was 2019 uh, September. Then we had one exhibition in Chimes, back in Chimes. It was 2019 November. Yeah. And then just a couple of months later, COVID happened. Yes, but true. even during COVID, 2020 December, Master Yun went on to the Great Wall of China still. Absolutely. And, uh, and I was really uh, surprised to see that uh, uh, the painting were uh, exhibit in, uh, in the Great Wall in, uh, yeah. in China. And uh, I was very happy and very proud of him. And uh, I'm also happy that uh, Master Yun announced me that he will do another event here in Chimes uh, next month. Yes. So I uh, will be very happy to come back. Alright, uh, we look forward to seeing Prince Tesso and the royal family again because finally we are going to have official public art exhibition and it's uh, since about after three years, this is going to be grand. This is going to be amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much, Prince Tesso. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Mr. Kim. Look forward to more prosperity and wellness. Thank you. Cheers. My name is Eric Rezina. I'm a fashion and textile designer. This October from 26 to 28, I will be exhibiting my fashion with Master Yun uh, Feng Shui paintings. So make sure that you uh, mark this calendar because everything is going to be about friendship, prosperity, and elegance. So see you there. The Arts Beyond Museums series and Master Yun Longzi's Feng Shui Art are proud to be sponsored by Lohong Perrier. For 200 over years, Lohong Perrier has not worked with any other artist before. When you purchase a piece of Feng Shui Art exhibited in this Art Beyond Museums series, you will also be getting a complimentary set of five different specially selected cuvées of Laurent Perrier Champagne. De la Cuvée, De Cuvée Rosé, Brut Millesimi, Demisec Harmony, and De Cuvée Grand Siac. So that you can enjoy the taste of elegance while basking in the prosperity of Mastuin's feng shui paintings and calligraphies. Cheers to prosperity and elegance.